Australia has a long history of looking beyond our borders when it comes to scientific endeavours. The Square Kilometre Array is the next step in working with other nations to pursue this common goal, the advancement of the world's scientific and astronomical research. Not only is this a great milestone as we commence construction, we're also setting out on an amazing scientific journey together to develop the world's largest and most capable radio telescope. We're delivering the Square Kilometre Array in a way that respects and protects the heritage of the Wadjuri Yamaji land, and we cannot forget that the Wadjuri Yamaji people are the first astronomers on that country who continue to nurture this land. The cutting edge technology for the Square Kilometre Array telescopes will expose Australian businesses to new skills and capabilities. And we'll see these changes flow on to benefit the community, the businesses involved in the project, and Australia more broadly for generations to come. Our participation in the project means that Australian scientists, businesses, governments and citizens of the future will have the opportunity to use the immense volume of data gathered by the telescope for over its 50 years of operation. We should all be proud of our involvement in this project and to all those involved in making today a reality, I just want to say thank you. This is a historic day and I'm sure we will see many breakthroughs to come from the Square Kilometre Array project. Greetings, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the South African government and its people, I congratulate the Square Kilometre Array Observatory, SKAO, on effectively managing the complex process of planning and designing the SKA telescope. I also wish to congratulate SKAO in managing the complex intergovernmental interactions that resulted in the formation of the SKAO itself and the signing of the hosting agreements with Australia and South Africa. I therefore would like to also reaffirm South Africa's commitment to the SKA project and pledge South African government's continued support for the SKA observatory as it moves into our country to continue managing the process of construction of the SKA. The official start of on-site construction of the SKA all telescopes is a fantastic opportunity to celebrate excellence and multilateral collaboration in science and acknowledge the SKA all strong bonds with its partner nations. Moreover, this important milestone will herald a new chapter of direct relationships between SKA Observatory and the local communities around the telescope sites. In particular, building on years of work in community engagement by the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory. Furthermore, I recognize the efforts made by South Africa and Australia in building world-class precursors to the SKA telescope, the Meerkat, in South Africa and the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder in Australia. These two instruments set the scene for the successful completion of the SKA project and prove the two host countries' resolve, determination and capabilities to be key players in the project. The South African government welcomes the opportunities that will flow into the country due to the construction activities of the SKA. Local companies will benefit from construction contracts, local people will find jobs, the financial resources flowing into the country will also uplift the economy of South Africa. I must indicate that since the start of construction activities, a number of construction-related contracts have been placed by the SKA Observatory, benefiting both local and international companies. The contracts awarded cover work packages in critical software development, professional services which are aimed at adding expertise and capacity for subsequent procurement and delivery work and engineering construction contracts for the delivery of SKA subsystems. Local communities are already realizing further benefits through the employment, training opportunities and other local initiatives. As South Africa will also remain grateful for hosting the SKA office in Cape Town for the implementation of the SKA project. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President.
尊敬的菲利普·戴蒙德总干事、女士们、先生们、朋友们，大家好！很高兴受邀参加今天的 SKA 建设启动仪式。这是 SKA 天文台发展历程中具有里程碑意义的重要事件，是各成员国长期参与和共同努力的标志性成果。在这场世界天文科技界的国际大协作中，各成员国表现了开放包容的合作态度。和共谋发展的务实行动。在此，我仅代表中国科技部，对 SKA 这一划时代的天文望远镜设施在南非和澳大利亚两个台址正式启动建设表示祝贺，对 SKA 天文台以及南非和澳大利亚的同事们精心策划此次 SKA 建设启动仪式活动表示衷心感谢。科学无国界，创新无止境。国际大科学计划和大科学工程是人类开拓知识前沿、探索未知世界和解决全球性重大问题挑战的重要手段，是加强国际科技合作、深化政府间双多边沟通交流的重要载体。作为一项国际大科学工程 ，SKA 及射电天文、基础物理、数学与建模、通信技术、大数据等基础科学和前沿技术。于一身，为人类认知宇宙提供了重大机遇。SKA 天文台的十六个成员国来自南北两个半球和亚、欧、非三个大洲，世界多国广泛参与，凸显了 SKA 项目的全球性，树立了多边国际科技合作的典范。中国政府始终高度重视科技创新发展，主动融入全球创新网络。国家创新驱动发展战略有效实施，科技创新为构建新发展格局、实现高质量发展注入更多原动力，成功进入创新国家行列。这既为中国自身经济社会发展、民生改善、生态优美提供强劲的动力，以及社会生产力提升的科学路径和方法，也为中国与国际科技同行交流合作。奠定了友好而坚实的基础。今天，中国既是国际前沿创新的重要参与者，也是共同解决全球性问题的重要贡献者。中国是 SKA 的首倡国之一，见证了 SKA 近三十年的发展历程，深入参与全球 SKA 创新治理，推动构建平等、开放、合作的全球伙伴关系，致力于扩大。同各国利益的汇合点，中国政府、科技界和工业界积极参与了 SKA 天文台的创立、望远镜设计研发、工程建设、科学研究等工作。2019年，中国政府签署成立平方公里阵列天文台公约； 2021年，中国国家主席习近平签署公约批准书，中国正式成为 SKA 天文台成员国。中国科研团队自 SKA 建设准备阶段开始，就积极参与 SKA 中平天线工作包任务，担任工作包联盟主席，通过国际大学作完成了 SKA 首台天线样机建设。中方高度重视参与 SKA 的履约工作，作为 SKA 中平天线结构的实物贡献方和总承包方，在国际组织。和国际同行的大力支持下，中方正式确立了国内供应商，并与 SKA 天文台签署了实物贡献协议，切实履行了中方对 SKA 的实物贡献任务。中方将一如既往的履行承诺，为积极推进 SKA 国际大科学工程的建设贡献智慧和力量。SKA 建设启动仪式的顺利举办，标志着 SKA 项目。迎来新的起点，迈进全新阶段。我相信，在不久的将来 ，SKA 还会迎来更多的成员国加入。展望未来，中方愿继续与各成员国开展全球协作，共商、共建、共享 SKA， 共同为建成 SKA 这一世界最大综合孔径射电望远镜提供强大助力，探索浩瀚宇宙，共创。人类美好未来。
最后，预祝 SK 建设启动仪式取得圆满成功。谢谢大家。Finally, the SKA radio telescope is no longer a mere project, but a reality. The largest telescope in the world, with thousands of antennas spread across two continents, is destined to define our present and our future. It is one of the most ambitious research projects ever undertaken, and I am particularly proud to be able to say that this project is very much tied to Italy. Right from the onset, Italy has played a leading role through its National Institute of Astrophysics. Italy contributes to the project not only financially and in terms of technology, but first and foremost through its excellent human resources, something in which we are leaders. The SKA Observatory is a demonstration that Italy has all the resources to participate fully in space exploration from the ground. This is truly an extraordinary endeavour. We are taking a fundamental step towards a broader understanding of the laws that govern the universe. And perhaps also towards broadening our view of the world. As our Latin ancestors would say, per aspera ad astra, my best wishes for a fruitful exploration. The Netherlands has a long tradition in radio astronomy and contributed to the SCAR radio telescope from the very beginning, 30 years ago. Today marks an important milestone with the beginning of the construction in the two sites in Australia and South Africa. We are extremely proud to be a founding member of this remarkable, prestigious research project that's at the very cutting edge of research. By investing in this important experiment, we are not only contributing to our understanding of the universe, but also are contributing to the greater benefit of society by stimulating global collaboration and innovation. Switzerland would like to congratulate the host states on the start of construction of the Square Kilometer Array Observatory. As the host country of CERN, Switzerland is pleased to be part of this great intergovernmental scientific and technological endeavor and is looking forward to the scientific community having access to the SKA. Great challenges lie ahead, but I trust that together we will be able to meet them. I'm convinced that the SKA will allow us to achieve scientific breakthroughs which will enable us to expand the boundaries of our knowledge. Hello Ministers, Ambassadors, Distinguished Guests, greetings from a foggy London uh, for this historic moment in South Africa and Australia as we start the construction of this next phase of the Square Kilometre Array. As Minister for Science, Research, Technology and Innovation in the Department of Business in London and Minister for Commercial Space, this is an incredibly exciting and important moment, both for space science, but also for the increasingly commercial space sector and for the communion of countries, nations working together to ensure that we build a open, integrated, safe, space for science and the space economy going forward. So congratulations to all of those who've helped to make this possible. We are, as the UK, very proud to be one of the core three host partners of the Square Kilometre Observatory. And I'd like to congratulate colleagues in South Africa and Australia on achieving this latest milestone and helping us to bring one step closer uh, to operation this really exciting observatory. 
After construction completion, the two complementary telescopes will be the ears on either side of the planet, allowing us to listen to those murmurings from the deep universe which uh, are driving such excitement in both uh, science and deeper, our understanding of the universe in which we live and the origins of life. As the home of the control centre for the observatory, the UK is helping lay the foundation for new galaxy level discoveries through radio astronomy. Scientists, engineers and researchers across UK industry and academia are working to deliver the working brain, if you like, behind these two telescopes, the software systems which make space observations possible and allow us to make sense of what we see and hear. All of these efforts help to channel more funds, jobs, careers, opportunities and innovation both into the UK economy but just as importantly into the global commercial space science and space economy. This is an incredibly exciting moment and I'm sorry I can't be there in person but all the very best wishes from London and congratulations and thanks to all of those who made it possible. Tras tantos años de estudios y trabajo de diseño, asistir al comienzo de la construcción del Radiotelescopio Internacional SKA es ver un sueño que se hace realidad. Para España, nuestra participación en SKA es una inversión estratégica de alta prioridad, pues será una de las infraestructuras científicas más importantes del mundo durante décadas. Estamos encantados por ser parte de esta gran aventura, por ver a nuestra industria participando activamente en la construcción y por garantizar a nuestros científicos el acceso a un observatorio que será escenario de grandes descubrimientos.